Operation RV back here again today with another important bid. All right, put our hands together. Okay, so this is a long-awaited uh, video here. Um, I have not done my 2018 EDC or Everyday Carry video. Um, it's pretty much remains the same. I just really, really exchanged my belts, maybe wallets and watches. And of course, firearm, but uh, everything else is pretty much the same. I have added a couple new items since my last video. I don't change mine as far as buy new things that often. Uh, so this is why it's kind of duly awaited video that I wanted to put out here for quite some time. Uh, so just real quick, uh, uh, I have a couple items here. Uh, this is my Condor uh, belt. Um, I do wear this. Uh, quite often I might exchange it out with a leather belt, uh, but why I do like it, the, depending on the firearm I carry, is because it holds the fire up, uh, firearm well, whether it's inside the waistband or outside the waistband. Uh, so I kind of go towards that one, uh, or lean towards that one a little bit more, more often than the other belt. Um, next is a long wallet that I handcrafted myself. It's out of your premium co uh, cowhide leather. Um, I do like longer wallets just because when I'm in the car, uh, in my larger frame that I have, it's easier to grab the wallet out of my, uh, my, my back pocket, but it's a uh, pretty cool. It took me a while to make it, um, go ahead and cover up some of the important stuff here, but you know, it houses your ID credit cards, uh, has a zipper pocket, a couple other, uh, pockets here. Uh, and of course all the, the, eye, the etching and, um, all that good stuff to the wall that I did too. All in all, it took me about two weeks to make it. So I really like the wallet. Uh, next here on the list is the Fitbit. Um, this is actually, uh, was a gift to me and I really like it a lot. Um, I heard a lot about the iPhone watch, um, but then I was given this one as a gift. So, uh, I really do like it. The only difference really is, is I can't send text out. However, I can still receive all the calls and text messages on the watch. Uh, and it, it's a Fitbit. So, um, ultimately it, you know, lets you know your heart rate, how many steps you've walked, how many calories you're burning. And there's different exercise, uh, formats that you can choose on here, uh, you know, for your daily workouts and routines. Um, and it does have a lot of apps and upgrades that you can do to it. Uh, so I really do like that. So I added that as far as my switch out on my EDC. Uh, just my standard keys, uh, a pair of sunshades. Uh, these are my Iron Man's. I do like them a lot uh, because the contour of it. And when you put them on in the hat, it, it tends to, uh, to fit good and it doesn't stick out because they're not bulky. Uh, I do like the shades. Uh, relatively inexpensive. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. Um, this is, uh, um, uh, another go-to it's made by hyper tough. It's a Walmart version brand aluminum, um, flashlight. It is a hundred lumens. Um, and it's pretty bright. So, uh, hasn't failed on me yet. I use it all the time for anything really. Uh, but this is a really nice, inexpensive uh, flashlight that I carry pretty much every day. I do carry a couple knives in each pocket just for, you know, um, if there's a, a survival, whatever, you know, there, uh, I can at least reach in the pocket and know that there's a knife in there to pull out. Uh, this is one of them. It's just my mini Kershaw. Uh, what I do like about this one and, and its uh, significance is the bottle opener attachment. So definitely use this one a lot. Uh, this one is an inexpensive frost cutlery uh, green beret knife. Uh, I like it. It fits good in the palm. Um, and I don't, I don't have to worry about damaging it because, again, it's, it is an inexpensive knife. Uh, but I still like it and it's functional and it works. I mean, that's what it's for. It's a knife. Um, I carry my pocket cross all the time, uh, very important, um, knowing that I have our Lord and Savior with me at all times. Handful of change, um, I do, I did make, make this, excuse me, also, it's a candid style uh, belt uh, holster knife, uh, 
you know, that a hold on the, your actual back. So I made it more of a canted style. Uh, and this houses my paramilitary um, knife, which I, I use quite often, as you can tell. It's pretty busted up. But I like it because um, it's fast, it's, it's easy, uh, accessible as far as ma maintaining and getting the knife. Um, it's as simple as just putting that in and it locks right down in there. So um, I change this out quite often too, but today this is what I was carrying on my person. Um, I added this to my EDC. It's very important. A friend of mine says, you know, well, why don't you, you know, upgrade a pen? So that's what I did. So I did out some research and decided I wanted to make um, a bullet pen, which there's tons of videos out there. And actually, I will be submitting a video on how I made mine uh, here in the next upcoming future. But this one uh, is a bullet pen. It's made out of two 308 cartridges. And uh, it's really nice. Right now, uh, I did polish it up, but due to using it, um, you know, all, you know, every day it does tarnish up a bit. But all you need to do is put some Mother's aluminum polish and it'll shine right up. And I went ahead and made its cousin, which is the same thing out of two through eight cartridges. It's a mechanical pencil. So it has its own, uh, its own counterpart here. Uh, so let's get into the, the nitty gritty. I do carry uh, a G23 or Glock 23 40 caliber. Um, with a Black Hawk holster. This one uh, today is the outside waistband, which you guys are, you pretty know pretty much know all about the the Black Hawk. It's it's good for what it is. Um, my firearm is loaded, uh, so let me go ahead and disassemble it now. And all right, so you're good to go. So this is what I carry all the time. Um, it uh, feels good in my hand. I do have bigger palms. And um, I did some custom stuff to it. Changed out the trigger housing. I polished my barrel. Um, I upgraded my, uh, to a steel rod. Um, I didn't do the extended mag release or anything like that yet, but uh, maybe in the near future. And I did add a, a little plug to it. So guys, uh, this is my 2018 EDC. Um, I went ahead and unloaded everything today. Uh, what you see is what you get. This is what I have. Um, hope you guys enjoyed my vids. If you have any uh, questions or uh, comments, definitely put those below. And as always, guys, I do enjoy the thumbs up. And uh, as always, peace, love, and respect. And see you guys next time. I'm out.